Hello friends, today I have taken very important play by George Bernard Saw and its name is Pygmalion and this play was published in the year 1912. Now what is the meaning of Pygmalion? What is the significance of the title? Let us find out. Friends, Pygmalion. In Greek mythology we find the story of Pygmalion. Okay? And in this story we find a king who was a great sculpturist. He carves out an ivory and makes a beautiful statue of a woman and with that beautiful creation of he himself he falls in love okay and this is the story of greek mythology regarding pygmalion okay and the same thing is seen in the play as well where this king or the sculpturist is uh, represented by higgins okay so let us go towards the story friends let's start with the summary now the summary starts from covert garden and here all the people are waiting for the summer rain to stop and it was night okay and here we find a florist who was hardly able to sell few flowers she was calling customers she was calling so that people will buy her flower okay her name is Eliza or Lisa okay and she is the protagonist of the story now she while selling her flower she bumps with Freddy and Fall Hill who was trying to get a cab in that rainy day now Eliza who is very rough who is uneducated uncivilized she starts fighting with Freddy okay there was a verbal fight and in that she uses very rough language she scolds Freddy for bumping upon her okay so this incident was being noticed by a phonetician his name is Henry Higgins okay and he notes down all the spoken words by Eliza and Freddie as well and he was uh, noting noting down other people's conversations as well okay and the people thought that because he was with note a uh, notebook and uh, he was noting down all the words they thought that he was a police agent okay it was people's guess but it was not true he was not a police agent he was a professor he was a linguist Ling people comes closer to Henry Higgins and uh, and they start interacting with him okay and he was able to tell their native uh, place with the help of phonetics which they used for conversation okay remember uh, friends that English is not same in all the countries forget about countries it is not similar even in one nation okay so based on phonetics their location can be analyzed or calculated okay so this was the caliber this was the skill of Henry Higgins he had uh, he was expert in phonetics he was he knew phonetics or language of all the provinces in which province which kind of phonetics they use okay so um, this was his caliber and people became very uh, at, um, attracted by his skill okay then there was another man in that uh, you know rainy day who was witnessing all this thing okay his name was Colonel Pickering he noticed all this stuff where people had gathered and uh, Higgins was able to tell their location etc okay and uh, we see that even he is a phonetician and after conversing with Henry Higgins he found that uh, both of them were phoneticians and both of them have published books and they have read each other's books also okay both of them did not know each other but in that rainy day they came across them where they understood that both of them were phoneticians and they have pu the published book were read by each other okay now he became so much impressed by accuracy of Henry Higgins accuracy of analyzing uh, a native place with the help of phonetics of people right then he interacted because both of them belong to same field both of them were phoneticians okay now Higgins was very callous person okay later on we will understand why he is called uh, callous okay he boasts himself okay he is very much proud of his caliber then um, he says that his job is to train rich people Okay, rich people because that was the time uh, it was Victorian England okay where etiquette were given more importance and this etiquette is not genuine it is superficial okay just to attract people just to uh, be in the center of the crowd people wanted to have such training all right so Higgins uh, Higgins job was to train people okay um, then we see both of them Higgins and Colonel Pickering they had already seen the incident that happened between Eliza and Freddie okay so he says that he is able to change Higgins is able to change this girl into a duchess 
okay high class lady okay or princess as well uh, within 3 months 3 months people will be doing mistake okay for recognizing her as a duchess she will be trained in such a manner that she will forget uh, she will lose her earlier identity this was the words of higgins okay and pickering at that time bets with him if he is able to uh, change this girl then he will win the bet and he is going to pickering who is very rich uh, american man he is going to sponsor one of the one of phonetic experiment okay then both of them they go back to their respective houses for that day in the second act we see higgins is seen in his lab which is at wimpole street okay and he is found with pickering right now at that time when they were conversing with uh, no no higgins was showing pickering his entire lab okay uh, somebody comes and it was eliza eliza was also there at that day okay here when the incident happened when people were uh, told their location on the basis of their phonetics eliza was also there and she had heard entire conversation and this one as well in 3 months people would mistake her for a duchess okay and at, that was the period when i told you people were given lots of importance by their language and their dresses okay so even she wanted to be a uh, center of attraction even she wanted to do away with her present identity okay so she came to higgins in order to learn elite mannerism especially english lessons okay for um change in her language she had come to higgins okay but she higgins denies totally he says how can i train somebody who is not known to me and who does not have money all right then pickering reminds him of the bet okay that the bet which they had discussed last night then higgins accepts the challenge okay and keeps eliza in his home all right now now her training starts but at first she was given shower by a housemaid and everything was arranged for the training now at that point of time we find another person coming in the house of higgins and it was alfred dolittle okay full name of eliza is eliza dolittle and uh, her father's name is alfred dolittle okay now here he comes as if he was a caring father but it was not he was a, he was a drunkard and he had come here for money okay by showing false care he will be um, maybe he will be given some money and his uh, task was fulfilled his desire was fulfilled because higgins had accepted the challenge and he showers few dollars upon uh, this alfred and he was he goes away okay and uh, at that point of time higgins says that they had kept they have kept sorry eliza for a, a purpose okay a genuine purpose not for wrong doing so alfred after getting money he goes away all right then eliza was given proper training and she was exquisitely dressed okay she was exquisitely dressed and she looked very beautiful okay then her pronunciation were, was made pretentiously correct all right till here it was okay nobody could make out that she was not a duchess she was not from elite community okay but one mistake she did and that was she used the word bloody to freddy okay in conversation so this uh, you know showed that however a person can be changed but in reality they show their true nature or true uh, bringing up okay now we we see before this experiment okay another experiment was also done with uh, ernsfold hill and she was made to interact with eliza which totally failed there she could not explain herself properly there was lots of pronunciation error okay and this was second time okay there was a meeting sorry there was a party there was a gathering and people could not uh, analyze that she was not a duchess okay everybody thought that she belonged to higher class because of her looks she was pretty and with her beautiful dress she looked more uh, she looked prettier okay and pronunciation when she talked about weather it was like meteorological report okay it was so perfect with perfect vocabulary and perfect pronunciation then we see see higgins was very elated that people could not distinguish between an imposter and genuine he considers 
um l is a, as imposter okay and he says that whatever she, he thought that he thought to her that was so genuine that people had mistaken her for a duchess okay but this irritates eliza now entire experiment is over till here entire experiment is over a girl is trained okay a girl is trained um to become a duchess all right but remember the training period was not was not easy for eliza she had to accept disrespect okay anger humiliation from higgins all right so after the after completion of the experiment eliza was so angry because after the experiment she was not given any importance okay higgins was so you know he was elated and he was engaged in celebrating his success okay he was so happy that people did not notice that it was a, a flower girl of roadside who was made a duchess okay this was his achievement of course but what about eliza now okay what about eliza what she will do she cannot go back and sell flowers and she cannot become a she cannot lead a life of a duchess therefore looking at um elation of higgins she becomes so angry and another point was that she was being ignored okay because experiment of higgins is over now what about eliza what she will do there is no plan for that okay so uh, she had a hot battle hot hot verbal battle with higgins okay and then higgins so insensitively suggests her to get married to someone because he thinks that this was the requirement for getting married and requirement was that a person should be beautiful okay a girl should be beautiful to get married she should be young she should be having um elite manners okay good etiquette she should have polished mannerism and which was already instilled by higgins according to this man all right now he says that she should marry somebody here we find this higgins was so rude okay here we see his callousness he was self pompous very insensitive indisciplined remember he was indisciplined the person who instilled uh, discipline in eliza he himself was indisciplined because um, he loses his control he misbehaves with eliza in between okay the training was useless because she he had qualities but he was not able to change himself okay he changed a flower girl but he was not able to change himself therefore it was utter failure eliza starts fighting with higgins okay verbally then she tells that now you have made a lady of me i'm not fit to sell anything else here we see helplessness of eliza okay and uh, higgins who was very insensitive he found all these mellow dramatic okay he says that she can take help of rich american phonetician mr pickering he might do something for her because it was his bet okay which was won by higgins okay now pickering was a very kind he was a very gentleman he was a true human being who was very sensitive okay so he gives money to father of eliza to lead a respectable life okay earlier i told you he was a drunkard father was a drunkard and we can imagine what kind of life he used to lead till now okay so when he gets money from uh, pickering then he thinks of uh, he was bound rather he was bound to lead a respectable life but he did not enjoy it because he was happy leading a carefree life as a drunkard okay so here we see he was not a caring father again okay then we see eliza who had become extremely angry right now she compares mannerism of higgins and mannerism of pickering okay both of them taught eliza lessons higgins taught her to be elite okay and elite cultures have uh, polished manners have mannerism okay have behavior and uh, talking etiquettes as well but and all these were impractical all right we will discuss that and then pickering he taught indirectly courteousness to her kindness and respect okay St uh, friends we see higgins while he was teaching uh, eliza he used to be disrespectful and it was pickering who used to point out and um, console eliza okay so all these were counted by eliza and she respects pickering more than higgins his real 
her real teacher okay she considers pickering as real teacher of hers okay let's move ahead whatever she taught she was uh, she gets knowledge from higgins was unrealistic it was artificial okay it talks about impractical culture because whatever she learned what to do with that because she cannot earn bread and butter okay and no uh, she cannot use the lessons anywhere else so she becomes so helpless and then she becomes irritated frustrated at uh, also at last she finds that she was used for completion of an experiment and she becomes more um, frantic about it okay now at last she thinks that she was in search of kindness all right and it was received from freddy who used to write lovely and kind letters to her when she was under training of higgins okay so she finds a true love at finally and with the money of pickering she was able to lead a respectable life okay so here we see it was not higgins who changed life of uh, eliza but it was pickering who changed life of and the protagonist all right so at last we realize that it was uh, pickering who was main protagonist with eliza and not higgins okay he, he can be taught as antagonist of the story so by this story ends okay we will meet in the next video friends i hope this is going to help you all in your examination thank you very much we will meet in our next video